Good morning, my travel peeps. Today is Saturday morning. I am already up getting ready to go to the gym because I have a busy day today. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, um, just like a day in the life, um, like all the other ones. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me um, just with everything that I have planned today. And I'll tell you more about that later. But in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the number one thing you should do whenever you decide that you want to start a travel agency and that you found a host or you've started your own independent agency, whatever that is, the number one thing you should do before you do anything else in your business. Okay, so we're headed to the gym. Uh, my husband actually is headed to the gym too, but we actually drive separately because he works out for like two hours and today's the arm day for me, which, so it'd probably only be like 45 minutes max. So, and I haven't been as consistent with making it to the gym. So I'm really trying to get back consistent. And then every, anytime I go to the gym and I, it hasn't been a while, I like to do like a light day. So nothing that's kind of like maybe super sore the next couple of days. So I'm actually going to do arms. I use an app, even though I'm a physical therapist, I do use like a fitness app to, because it makes my life easier where I don't have to like come up with workout plans and all that stuff. Like when I'm going to the gym, it's one barely because I have any time to do so. So I'm already squeezing it into my already busy schedule and I just like for it to be easy. So that way it limits me not going or making excuses of why I'm not going. So I like a girl called um, Chrissy Silla. Silla. Okay, so we're gonna try this again always technical difficulties over here my um sim card was full okay so we're gonna try this again my sim card was full so i had to clear the some of the memory on it because i wasn't going back home to get another one so anyway me and my husband work out separately because he works out pretty long and i don't want to be at the gym all morning and all day because i have other things to do um saturdays and the weekends are just like my days where i have the most time to work on my business because i don't have to go to work so I use, I really want to, you know, utilize this time and make sure I'm not wasting time. So today is just gonna be like a 30 minute workout. This road is really bumpy. So once I get off this bumpy ass road, then I'll keep talking. Okay, so anywho, now that I'm back on smooth roads. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get me an arm workout in. Um, and then I have a ton to do today uh, as far as the business goes. So I'm just gonna bring you on a day in the life um, as working as a travel agent. And today's video, because you know, I always like to you know do my vlogs, but make sure that I am providing some type of value to you guys. So I usually like for my vlogs to not just be you know the typical vlog of just what I'm doing, but I also like to at least include one thing um, that I can offer you guys when it comes to value in starting your own business or running your own travel business. Or any business for that matter but in regards to travel today what we're going to talk about is like the thing that you should definitely do at the very beginning of starting your business and that is to pick a niche oh, you go ahead so that is to pick a um niche target for your travel business so the world's really large there are a lot of places that you can visit there are a lot of industries that you can focus on when it comes to travel but in my opinion, I think you should narrow that down. Like, especially starting out, like if you're a brand new travel agent, if there is no way that you should be starting your agency um, offering everything that the world has to offer. So that's like, you know, offering trips to Europe or Italy, like Greece, all these other places, um, maybe Disney, cruises, you know, um, all inclusive. Like there are so many different categories of travel that you can offer your clients and there's no way that you should be offering them all. And the reason is, is because when you're new, so you don't really know the industry, you don't really know about um, the different categories and the different trips you can plan. So when it's that much information out there and you're not zoning in on one area or one category, you're not gonna be good at it. Like, it's, that's just the facts. Like, there's no way that I would feel comfortable planning a trip to someone for someone um, to like London one I've never been two I've never researched it 
three, I know nothing about the resorts, nothing about the transportation, how that system works, the trains, nothing. I know nothing about that. So I wouldn't feel comfortable um, and I don't feel like it would be right for me to plant, take someone else's money or offer them a service on something I have no training in, no experience in, and have no idea what I'm doing. And this is going to, like picking a niche and narrowing down is going to protect you and it's going to help you because that's going to be too overwhelming for you. It's going to be too overwhelming to try to um, service everybody no matter where they're going because that is going to be a ton of back end work for you, a ton of research, and it's going to be a lot of anxiety because you don't know um, those areas, you don't know those destinations. So you're probably going to be freaking out wondering if you're even, you know, doing something right for the client or if they're going to have a good experience um, just because you don't have connections in these destinations you've never been or whatever the, the case may be. So I always, so I highly, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, niching down when it, when it comes to your agency and what you want to target. And uh, there's a lot of ways that you can do this. And I'm telling you, you want to spend your most time on this one thing right here uh, more than anything else in the beginning of your business because it's going to determine everything moving forward with your business. It's going to determine your business name, um, your logo, your brand colors, um, the voice of your brand, all of that matters but in order to do it correctly in order to really be successful um in any business you have to start with who is my client who, who am i trying to target first before you start to really set up your business because if you don't you're going to set it up with oh well i like this name this is the name that i like these colors are cute to me um whatever and then uh, the branding that you've established on your own personal um you know just opinions or, or what you like isn't going to target the people you want to target so you're just going to have you're going to have a hard time getting clients so start with your clients in mind who do you want to service start there and i'm going to tell you what i mean by niching down so it's not just picking that destination right um there's a lot, a lot more to it because for instance with all inclusives there are family friendly all inclusive there are adult only all inclusive there are um you know risque kind of all inclusive like there there's a lot of things out there so it's not a, so you have to really narrow it down so like what when you're thinking about this what type of client do i want to work with uh, do i want to work with families or do i want to work with adults from the ages of you know this age to that age um what what type of personality do they have do they like to have fun or am i trying to target people who just want to relax maybe they're older and they um they're not interested in a lot of adventure sorry guys it was a car going by um so maybe maybe they're older maybe they don't want to do a lot of adventure like you have to really think into like there's i'll have to do a whole separate video on you know how to come up with your um client avatar or you know the, the people that you want to target in your business yeah that probably needs to be a separate, separate video but in the sense of niching down where you should definitely start is what do you want to sell and what destinations do you want to sell for me uh, i don't know if i've said this before i do all inclusive and the reason I do all inclusive is because I, that's what I enjoy. When I first started this business, if you don't know, um, I started this business right after I got back from my own destination wedding. So I've always, we've always traveled um, and beaches are my favorite places to go. Anytime we're going on vacation and it was my turn to pick, I always pick the beach destination because that's what I've always enjoyed. I didn't grow up around the beach. I'm from Dallas, Texas area, um, more like on the countryside, but y'all wouldn't know if I told you the city name anyway. So I've always liked to visit beaches and things like that. So my business focuses on the Caribbean, number one, um, also Mexico, and then all inclusives. And then there's other parameters that I have too, as far as narrowing down who my client is, um, which is something that I'm really working on for 2023. And I am in the process of going through rebranding for the sole purpose of what I just told you. So I'm giving you these things, guys, so that you don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. When I first started my business, I went off a name that I liked, um, that I thought was appealing to me. You know, I wasn't really thinking about, well, um, what, how would it come off to my clients? Or will it resonate with my clients? Is this something that they would be attracted to? So now I'm in the process, uh, and the same with my colors. So that's why I'm in the process of rebranding uh, for 2023, what my brand looks like, and really narrowing down who my target is. Now, when you're first getting started, it's okay, and I was okay with it because I was learning how to be a travel agent. I was learning um, how to set up my systems and my processes, 
but now that I have those things, now I'm focusing, um, like I said in my other video, 2023 for me is to really get more clients. And this is part of that, making sure that my branding is targeting the people that I want to see. So, so you don't make that mistake. Start doing it from the beginning. Pick where you want to sell and really learn that niche first. Now, overall, and I'll tell you my plan for my business, that's why I mentioned in my other video that my mom and my sister work with me um, in the cruise department because I know that it's not realistic for me, I'll speak for myself, to know and be an expert in every category of travel. It's just too many resorts, too many destinations, too many things to do that it's just not possible. Um, I don't think it's possible for any one human to do. So my plan for my business and how I'm structuring, I'm structuring my travel agency is to have people work in certain um, destinations. So for me, I'm focusing on the Caribbean, all inclusives. My mom and my sister, they do the cruises. And so eventually I'm gonna bring on other people that'll do Europe, you know, that'll do these different destinations and they will be experts in that category so that, you know, our clients are getting the best value for their money. I don't like the way this camera is showing me the lighting right now while I'm driving. So we'll finish this conversation later. So my workout went pretty good. I'm at Torchies right now to get a snack. I'm gonna head home now, um, get cleaned up, and then get started on everything that I have to do today. And then we can talk more about um, niching down in your business. So, see y'all in a bit. Hey, travel peeps, so I'm back at home now. I went to the gym this morning, so I started my day with working out, which I'm really trying to focus on doing a lot more in the new year. And then I grabbed me a bite to eat, and now it's time to get to work. So, some of the things that I was kind of talking about when we were in the car is that you really want to niche down. And when you niche down, like I said, it's really going to help you target the exact type of client that you want. So you're not wasting your time and you're actually getting clients. Because something that you'll hear said often when it comes to marketing is if you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. So what that means is you have to target um, people when you're speaking to them. So just for an example, if I was to like run an Instagram post or my language on my Instagram was, um, you know, do you like traveling to all inclusives? You know, contact me, blah, 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 whatever. A lot of people travel to all inclusives or may want to, but that's, if I'm seeing that, that's not going to trigger me to think, oh, well, she's talking directly to me or that really resonates with me. Opposed to if I said, hey, is your 30th birthday coming up? Contact me to go on a vacation to the, you know, top all inclusives in the Caribbean. Everybody who sees that post who is turning 30, that really hits home with them, right? That resonates with them. They can relate to that. So you're spe speaking directly to that person. So you want to do that or keep that in mind whenever you're thinking about niching down. So for me, I told you I'm doing all inclusives right now in the Caribbean and then I'm targeting adults. So my language in Instagram, my language on my website, all of those things are going to target adults that want to travel to the Caribbean. How I speak to them, it's going to be directly towards that type of client my client that want to go to the um uh, all inclusives in caribbean they're not going to want to be at a place that's um, kid friendly because it's just them and they want the adult experience they want to have fun they want to drink they want to party they want to you know wear whatever they want to wear without worrying about you know kids being around things like that so that's how you got to target your content and think about it whenever you're thinking about okay well, who do i want to service when i start to plan my business so hopefully that gives you guys some insight um and if I think of anything else that I want to share, I will let you know. And I, that kind of video needs to be made in depth. So if you want me to like sit down and walk you through um, how to pick a niche, what you should be thinking about and how to start formulating that marketing plan side of things, let me know and I will do that. This video right here is more of a, just a vlog style, but I do like to give you value whenever I'm doing videos in general. So it's not just wasting your time. Hopefully it's not wasting your time. But today I have a very busy day. Um, I'll show you my screen. And if you missed my last video, I actually showed you how I formulated um, my kind of like my organization plan and how I stay track, how I keep up um, with my business using Trillo. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And today is Saturday. So I have a, quite a few things to do 
today. Um, that's just some back end stuff I need to do. The main things that I need to get done today is to finish planning the content for January because literally January starts tomorrow. So that's a priority. I'm gonna put that at the top of the list. I need to do that. And then I have a quote that I need to do, uh, two quotes that I need to do, three quotes that I need to do actually. But as far as prioritizing these quotes, there's one that I'm meeting with on Wednesday. So she's a priority um, and it's a big group. So I think it's like a, a little over 16 people. So I, that's a priority today. Um, but I do have a couple days before we meet on Wednesday. Um, and then I have two more that I have a little bit of time. Um, so they're not as a high of a priority, but um, I'll get to them as the weekend progresses. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to do. Some of these other things can be moved. So I'm going to go ahead and move because I'm actually rebranding my business, um, as I said earlier in the car. So that's one of the things that I'm working on um, going into January. I'm not really stressing myself to have all the rebranding done by the first of the year because that's tomorrow. I'm thinking more of just um, slowly rolling out my new branding um, some like in the middle of January because I also want to do like a brand photo shoot so that the images on my website um, represent my brand as well. So that I'm going to move down a little bit. So today, the main things I want to hit is I have to finish my content for January and then I need to start working on the quote um, for one of my clients. So that's pretty much my plan for today. Oh, and I want to show you guys this too. So I actually finished a quote yesterday for a client and one of the tools that I used to use in my business is Travel Joy. And so Travel Joy is a, um, it's not really a CRM. Uh, I'm not sure if it's classified as a CRM, but let me, no, I'm not going to look that up. But what it is typically is a proposal um, type of website. So you can use it to go in there and really customize your proposals to clients and trip itineraries. Um, they give you the ability to do that in a professional and organized way. Now it does cost. And so I used to use it, but as the new year was coming in, you know, they're saying, well, are we going to hit a recession? Are we not? Um, but the smart thing to do when you're in business is to cut the expenses of the things that you can. So Travel Joy, unfortunately, was one of the things that I cut. Um, so I wasn't using their services. And it, it is a good system to use um, if you have the extra spending capital to do it in your business, if it's worth it for you. I always say, you know, if something is helping you stay consistent, if it's helping you push your business forward, then pay for it you know but for me i knew that that was a way that i could get away with not using it because there were other things in my business that i valued uh, more than travel joy so i did cancel it but that is something that you can use but instead i'm going to show you what i did i used a canva template on here so this is the i'm going to say freeway this this can be the freeway. I pay for Canva, so that's why I said freeway. But you can do this without paying for Canva. I think Canva is only like six dollars a month or something like that for the pro version. Um, but you don't have to do it this way. Oh, uh, let's see. So okay, so I'm gonna show you this because this is what I'm um, setting up in my business since I'm not gonna use Travel Joy. So I have a board on Trillo uh, labeled proposal templates. And then I have, you see, I'm getting it started. I just decided to use Canva yesterday. So I have my destinations as list. Um, the trip that I quoted a lady on yesterday was to Punta Cana um, to the Nickelodeon Resort. And so I'm going to show you what the proposal looked like on Canva. And all of this I created on canva and it was super super easy so let's see let me go to download so it's easier for you to see oh you get the full effect and i'm still tweaking it um because like i said this is my first time uh, kind of playing around with using canva for um proposals so there are a few things i'm going to add to it to just make it um you know more how i would like it but this is what it looks like so this is the front page obviously where they're going punta cana they're going to the nickelodeon resort and so i just put a picture there i put the dates in here so this was an easy trip because this is actually um a client that was previously booked with me but she's not able to go on the girls trip anymore so since she purchased travel credit she just wants to rebook a vacation later on in the year 
uh, with her and her kids. So it was super simple. They didn't want any flights. So it was like really the basic information. So here you see I added the check-in, check-out date, um, who's going on the trip. And then I included the pricing here for the room categories so that she could see the pricing. And then here they can actually click on these links. So I was kind of going back and forth for um, trying to design it where it wasn't too many pages and then where pictures could fit um, next to the room category. But what I did instead is I just included the direct link to um, that particular room. So like if you click on pad suite here, it's going to take you um, directly there. And so that way you can click through the pictures and you can see. And then it's going to do that for each category. So that's how I set it up there. Um, and then this is just a little blurb here that the transportation is included. And then I also give a little tip because people won't necessarily know what to do unless you tell them um, is to click on the room category to see more details. Um, and then here I included um, another page and this is just going to show the deposit, the deadline, um, just letting her know. And she already knows this because she didn't want flight pricing, that that's not included. And then some information on travel insurance. Okay, and then that is pretty much it. And so also what I um, included here is where she can book our next chat. So this particular client, because we've worked together before, she usually just texts me or call me. Um, but some people who maybe I'm not as comfortable with or we don't have a relationship with where they're just texting me uh, back and forth, they would literally be able just to click on this that says book a call. It'll take them to my calendar. Um, calendy. Am I pronouncing that right? Okay, so Calendy. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, like website or whatever in order to book a call with me so that it makes it easy. So we don't have to go back and forth saying, hey, are you available this time? No, I'm not. Okay, what about this time? You don't have to go through that whole thing. They can click on this link, um, choose the date that they're, that they're available, and then they will see my availability as well. And it makes it that much easier to book. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to show you what a proposal looks like. And again, if you want me to make a video, which could be fun to where I'm just walking you through how to um, design a proposal through Canva, um, then I'll be happy to do that too. That could be a fun video to do. So with that being said, let's get started. Mm. That coffee is hot. Okay, so social media. That's what I got to knock out today. I really have to knock out this social media content. Um, I'm just giving you all the tips in this video since I'm working on it anyway. And keep in mind, I can go and break down each one of these videos and I probably will too at some point. But since I'm working on content for the month, what I'm doing now is planning. So how you see it here, I have, I kind of broke down what I wanted to post in each month. So there's at least in January, there's 31 days in January. So I said I'm going to do 11 reels, 10 like standard posts, so like just a picture, and then 10 deal posts. And so what I'll tell you is that if you don't know what deal posts are, it's just like um, an already packaged vacation from the vendor. And then you just kind of promote it on social media. That's what I'm calling a deal post. So that is kind of my structure for creating the content. And as you can see here, it already shows that I finished creating the picture post. So let me go to my other Trillo board. Uh, so we're going to need it. Content planning. All these pictures here, all these images are the January post. See, it says January calendar. When, you, when I click on it, I already have the caption there with it. So after I finish creating all of my content, I'm going to go into Facebook market, um, Facebook meta, um, the business suite portion of it and schedule all of my posts for January so that I don't have to worry about it. So that is what I am doing today. And I need to do reels. So let's get started on that. That should be fun. That's another reason I put on makeup and stuff today because I knew I needed to um, do the reels. When you're making content, you do want to make sure that you're showing up. Um, I know that can be kind of nerve wracking if you're not used to like being on social media or being in front of the camera. You know, we all got our insecurities. We're all like, well, I don't want to get on camera because of this, because of that. Nobody cares. Okay. Nobody cares about what you look like, um, what you're wearing, none of that. 
Uh, they care about if you're providing value. Like if you're providing value and you're helping someone achieve something that they don't know or helping them go on a vacation that they really want to do and you're taking the stress out of it, they don't care about what you look like. Okay. I'm sure you're beautiful, but they don't care. They care about the value you provide and what you can do for them. So keep that in mind because we all go through that of, oh, well, what are they going to think about this? You know, that constant worrying about what others think of you. Who cares? Um, yeah, that's my rant on that. So let's tackle the reels. Now, another thing that I use for content creation is a site called the Travel Collective. Now, I'm going to tell you I'm on the fence about if I'm keeping it. It's a little expensive, $57 a month. But I'll tell you what it comes with. And I'll leave the links below to this in the description. So everything that I'm talking about, I'll leave a link below to it. Something that... I do whenever I'm planning content for the month is I'll pull up the calendar on Google just to see if there's any special days. So like in the month of January, for instance, um, on um, January 16th. So that's a holiday, MLK day. And then that might be the only thing going on in the month of January. Yeah, so I always pull up the month view of um, whatever month you're working on. So that way, on the days that there's a holiday, you are making content or you pre-plan that content as well. And you're not missing out on those posts as well. So that's something we got to worry about for the month of January. So with that being said, let's make some reels. And so for creating reels, I'm going to tell you what I use and it's usually Canva. But sometimes if I'm on my phone, it's a, a app called CapCut. That's the app that I use in order to um, make my reels sometimes. And sometimes I do it on Canva. On Canva, it makes it just super easy to where when you're adding text and everything like that, I just feel like when you're doing a batch creation of content, it's easier to have a big screen than being on your phone. But sometimes that can be complicated. So what I'm going to do, because I'm winging these reels, I don't really have any ideas for what I want to do just yet. I'm on Canva. And I'm going to look at my storage of footage from my recent vacation because we're going to use some of it. Uh, this is a video I took uh, recently when we went to, when we went on vacation. Look how pretty that looks. So I'm going to probably use that. And if you're starting out and you haven't really taken many vac vacations to where you have content um, already stored, you can find so much content on Canva. Um, on a couple other websites as well uh, that are like stock footage and stock video that you can also use so you also have that option but I'm telling you Canva is a great place as far as when you're starting out and even like after that you know they just they really evolved into everything that they offer okay so it's really good to show like your personality and who you are even with your business so you don't want to get in that habit of making your um, social media platforms so professional like you still want them to have character you want to show up as you and show your face so you want to give them a little insight into who you are um, your personality so that they connect with you as a person and that they like you as a person because there's a million other travel agencies. There's a million ways they can book themselves online. So you are selling yourself. You are selling your knowledge. You are selling your services. So they need to fall in love with you as the person and then work with you because of that, the fact that they actually like you. So the good thing about Canva is that they will give you templates to create your content. And then you can go in there and make everything look toward like appealing to your brand so you could change the fonts you could change um the colors and all of that matters because you want your brain to look consistent um you don't want different fonts and different colors with every post because then it's just all over the place and nobody can recognize you when you the whole point behind having a um, set brand colors a mission statement like all those things um, having certain fonts that you use on a consistent basis it is solely for that when you post or when your client sees you on social media or on any type of advertising 
it automatically triggers in that brain that okay this is that brand this is you know blue reef white sand when i see those fonts i automatically know that's that that it's them and so they're not like saying this out loud like oh that's blue reef white sand but it's happening in their mind and they don't really realize it and they become familiar with you um by your consistency and how frequently you're posting without them even realizing it and so when they go to make a trip their brain automatically pulls okay i know a travel business that i can reach out to um, so it's not like that they're just paying attention just to your brand, but you you are basically programming them to come to you when they're ready to book, okay? And so if you're posting different colors, different fonts, and all these things, they, they can associate that with anything, and they're not going to recall on you when it's time uh, for them to book their vacation. Okay, so this is a really quick and easy reel. And it gives people insight into who I am as a person and it brings like that personal component to my business page. So this is just a post. It says 2023 goals and then it lists my goals for 2023 or at least some of them. And in Canva, I should be able to add music. Um, they added that, um, I don't know when, but it's been on there for a while. Now I typically like to use CapCut because it has like the transitions and things like that that I like. Canva does have transitions too. Uh, they're just not as advanced as some of the other apps that are like made for video editing so let me go to the music see simple and cute so that's that for this video y'all i hope it was helpful um let me know down in the comments if it gave you any type of value um i know it might have been all over the place oh.